Welcome you all in video lecture series for microcontroller. So up till now we have done the practicals which are based on to Keel software means the practical related to 8051. But in syllabus we have five practicals which we have to execute with the help of Peak microcontroller. So for Peak microcontroller we are going to use a ID name as MPLAB. So in this tutorial we are going to look how to use the MPLAB software and how to execute it with the help of hex file means how to create a hex file and burn it into a control upload our controller kit so first of all what we have to do we have to open a MPLAB ID so by double clicking in it I am going to open a MPLAB ID so this is the environment of MPLAB ID consisting of workspace output window and this is a toolbar consisting of different functions like file edit view project so first of all like kill what we have to do we have to close if any program is open so here no project is open so we will go for the new project directly so go project then next project wizard so this window is pop up which will welcome us in MPLAB ID simply click on to the next after clicking we have to select a device here I am using pick 18F4520 for the practical so I am selecting this then click on to the next here we have to create a project file so what I am going to do I am creating a new folder here so simply create a new folder I am giving it name as a sample ok and in sample for project I am saving my first project ok so the name of the project is first and save type is .mcp means what MPLAB project file so just save it after saving it the location will pop up here we just need to simply click on to the next after that this window step number 4 is used for add existing file to your project suppose we have any type of header file or source file then we can add it over in this workspace till now I don't have any type of source file or hex file so I am just ignoring it by clicking on to the next after that our project task is finished so our device is pick 18f4520 tool suit here we need to select the tool sheet if the window pop up for selecting the tool suit then select the tool sheet of C18 compiler ok we are using the C18 compiler so use it then simply click on to the finish after finish we have to save the work workspace file so what we are going to do we are simply clicking on to the save so after save we need to write a program for writing a program select file new so new editor will be pop up here I have a one program of relay interfacing which I am going to write over here so this is the program of relay interfacing ok so I have write a program for relay interfacing ok what we have to need we need to save this file as I am writing here a C program because what we have all C program we have to done the programming in C language in 8.0.1 we have done it with assembly in peak we have to do it with C so simply save it by clicking control S and give the name to that file so I am giving it in the name first dot C and simply saving it so file is save Okay. look at the color is changes over the color of the instruction like include which are predefined the color is get changes so up next what we have to do we have to build it means we have to check for errors and all so click on to the build so what we are getting a message of build fail because what because we don't add this file into our source group like in Keel, we are adding the file so likewise we have to add this file into a source group so click on to the source group and check for your .c file here it is my file first .c click on to open the file is get added then do the 
built all operation okay so i got to build succeed message okay means what there is a no time any type of error so after building what we have to do we have to make a hex file in kill what we are doing we are making a hex file but here the hex file is automatically created only we need to put this hex file into our kit so i have connected a kit over here before that what we have to do we have to configure a we need to configure the device so first of all we have to go into the configuration select device and check whether your device is over here or not then simply click on to the ok then again go to the configuration window and select for configuration bit here click on to the untick the configuration bit selection so that we can select the bit at our own so oscillator here i am selecting the hs oscillator then next we have to select for the brownout so brownout reset should be disable then watchdog timer is enable we need to disable it watchdog timer is disable then here it is port mode so port mode should be digital io on reset so this four selection we have to change over here and after going for changing just simply click on to the cancel okay then after that what we have to do we have to burn the file into kit so i switch on the kit and connect the pick kit to with my laptop then go to the programmer select tool and here first by default it is none we have to select pick it to so select the pick it to so pick it to is ready if all the connections are proper it will show the message that pick it to is ready up next what we have to do go to the programmer and program so pick it to is ready and our program is burn onto the ic after that go to the program and simply click on the release from reset so after doing all this process we are the project is get burn onto our ic and we are getting the output onto kit so i have burned the project onto ic with these steps so these all the steps we need to proceed in all our upcoming practicals to burn the program to write the program etc okay so this is all up to a mp lab id now next sessions we are going to execute the practical number 6 to 10 which is based on to the peak microcontroller thank you